what's up guys, this is Puneet Khatri from iGeek's vlog and in this video we'll be taking a look at how to add or how to remove a third party keyboard with the update of iOS 8, Apple does now allow the third party keyboards that we can officially download from the App Store. So guys, let's not waste any further time and get right into this video. Okay, so guys, once you have your device ready and updated to iOS 8.x, what you need to do is just hit on the App Store and you have now Apple has some sections like add a new keyboard or like some amazing apps for iOS 8 and you just search there for I add a new keyboard. These are a list of a couple of keyboards which are really amazing like they work perfectly fine and they really like work, they, they work fantastic. So guys, uh, once you download some of these keyboards, which are particularly, some of them are available for free, some are available for, like, you need to pay for them. But the two best keyboards, which I think, uh, which I recommend, are the Swift Keyboard and the Ginger Keyboard Plus Page. So guys, uh, once you have downloaded the applications for the keyboard, what you need to do is just swipe over and go into settings. Once you're there in settings, what you need to do is just scroll down over and, like, you need to hit on General. In General, we have an option for keyboards and just hit on keyboard and the very first option for keyboard again and now we have the last option to add a new keyboard just hit over there okay so guys once you are there and add a new keyboard you have so many of these couple of options these are the suggested keyboards which uh, the ios device the ios suggests to me that i should use these couple of keyboards but i do not want them like i want to add the third card party keyboards so right over here we have an option for third party keyboards and as you can see we have the two options ginger and the swift keyboard so guys what you need to do i'll just hit on ginger first so ginger is added over here and what the second step you need to do again is just hit on this keyboard and you need to click allow full access when you click on allow full access you will get a pop up for something like this like and just hit allow what does this allow full access does is that it allows the full access to the keyboard and like you can also have the swipe or like the suggestions which officially Apple does give and for the third party keyboards you need to select allow full access. So guys I have already added the ginger keyboard and now I'll go ahead and have to add the swift keyboard. I just added it over here and I'll just allow full access. So guys now we have successfully added the third party keyboards over here and uh, what can we do is just I just swipe down and go into the spotlight search and I'll uh, click on the globe right over there which is to change the keyboard between the multiple keyboards when you have. I'll just hit over here. I'll again hit over here. And now I have a key. You can see this keyboard. This is the ginger keyboard. I get a G over here. So guys, uh, you might be thinking you uh, like uh, you can see that this is really amazing the theme and everything. You can also customize it. Just hit over the G and you can go into the theme section and customize this. And there are a couple of other options like reviewing and each and everything. You can go into the Ginger application and you can swipe over, log in, connect, and you can do whatever you want. There are a huge number of applications available over here. You can rephrase, you can translate, you can define, and everything like it is a massive keyboard available. It's a massive, amazing keyboard. No other words available. Moving towards the second keyboard which we had added is the Swift keyboard. Swift keyboard is also another keyboard which works perfectly fine with iOS 8. But this keyboard is not as good as the Ginger keyboard eh, according to me. Don't go according to my recommendations because this is uh, these are the views of a particular person and like other people in the globe may have other views. Might You guys also might have some other views. So guys, uh, over here, this is a swipe gesture keyboard. You can swipe and type anything over here. Like I can type iGeeks blog. <laughs> this is really like it need to have the words over here. Then only if you try go ahead and try to type some new words, then you might get some error. Okay, so guys, moving towards the second part of a video. That is to how to remove the third party keyboards from your I device. So guys, for doing that, you need to go into settings. Under settings you need to scroll down and hit on general. Once you're there in general you need to scroll down and hit on keyboards again on the very first board keyboards. Okay so guys here I have the three options English, India, Hindi and Emoji. These are the key three keyboards which are provided by the Apple or the iOS itself. But the down to, down, down to keyboard, the ginger keyboard and the swift keyboard are the third party keyboards. So what can I do is just swipe from left to right and I have an option to delete. If you are not comfortable with that you can hit the edit button minus and just delete those. So guys now we have successfully deleted the third party keyboards. But this does not mean the party key, third party keyboards has been removed from your device because you can again go ahead and add a new keyboard and add the third party keyboards because they are right, right over there. 
If you want to permanently remove these third party keyboards, what you need to do is just select the applications which you, which you had downloaded for installing these third party keyboards and just delete these applications. Once you delete these applications, the third party keyboards have been permanently removed from a device. Like uh, we can't say permanently because for a period of time, because if you download the applications again, they are going to be installed again. I can hit the add a new keyboard and now you can see I don't have any third party keyboard installation options right over there. Ok so guys this was a quick tutorial on how to add or how to remove a third party keyboard from your iOS device. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you then please do give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to iGeeks blog and we'll catch you guys later with some amazing stuff in the upcoming videos. Please do subscribe and again thanks for watching. Till that time, peace.